Welcome back to the channel at Jeron Slab Products LLC. How to overcome the resistance part 15, right? And in this video, I'm just going to do a short, quick lesson on how to overcome the resistance by making reference to the word hikmah in the Arabic language, right? Hikmah. Hikmah, right? I'm going to write it, right? So, in the Arabic language, you have three letters. That is the root word, right? Excuse me. That is the root for each word, right? No matter what word it is, every word has a root which consists of three letters, right? So, I'm going to write it. The first letter is Ha, right? And then you have Kaf, And then you have mean, right? So you have half, calf, mean, right? I hope y'all can see, right? But I just did this so y'all can actually see. I don't expect everybody to just get this right away. That's not my intention, right? Now, ha, calf, and mean, the root letters of the, these three letters, ha, calf, and mean, is the root letters for the word hikma, right? In the Arabic language. Now, what does this have to do with overcoming the resistance, right? Now, this book I have here with me, I'm actually quoting from, this is uh, Arabic dictionary for the Holy Quran, right? For the words from the Holy Quran, this is the Arabic dictionary for it right and I found this amazing because how do we overcome the resistance is it possible to overcome the resistance without having a zeal for knowledge without having a zeal for wisdom without being able to discern and to judge what is good and what is not bad, right? Because the root ha calf mean the initial root is to judge, to give a decision, to rule, to make a judgment, right? And this is so important because if we don't develop the mindset, right? If we don't develop the mindset to build up this mindset with knowledge, right? It's going to be it's going to be impossible to make a sound judgment to make good decisions. If we haven't cultivated, if we haven't taken the time to invest in our mindset, to overcome the resistance that is inevitable in everybody's path, regardless of whatever walk of life you come from, right? We all are faced with resistance, but it takes sound judgment. It takes the strength, the mental strength to be able to make that ruling 
upon that which is in front of you, right? To make that ruling, to make that decision, to make that judgment. Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing, right? So, ha. Huh. And calf and then me, right? I'm just going over this, right? Because I want to make it a little darker in hopes that y'all can see, right? I really hope y'all can see. But after the video, leave your comments and suggestions, right? And give us some feedback, right? And if y'all like this, then I will take it upon myself. I will make the investment and actually get a board. Right, if this is something that y'all interested in, right? I just came up with this idea, right? As I was sitting in solitude, I just came up this with this idea, and I said, "Well, how, how can I add value, right?" My, that's that's my thoughts. That's what I'm always thinking about. How can I add value? How can I serve my customers? How can I make a difference? How can I have an impact on somebody else's life, right? What change can I make? How can I give back, right? From what God, what Allah has blessed me with, right? So ha, calf, and me, right? And above each, these strokes that you see above the letters is fatha, right? That's, it's like, it's, it's nuptas. It's like a symbol to indicate how the letter is supposed to be read in the Arabic language, right? Right, so ha, calf, and me, right? That's the three, again, that is the three root letters for the word hikmah, right? Wisdom in the Arabic language. And I repeat myself a lot because the brain has a tendency to memorize things through repetition. So if you hear me repeating a lot, that's why I keep repeating myself, right? Because... Through repetition, the brain, the subconscious brain picks up the information, right? So this is how we overcome the resistance. We have to have a, a, a path, excuse me, we have to have a zeal to seek in knowledge. Now, if we look at King Solomon, right? King Solomon, why did God, why did Allah give King Solomon wealth, right? Because... King Solomon had the wisdom. He had the mindset to handle it. So because he had the mindset to handle it, he was able to manage the wealth that was bestowed upon him, right? So this is very important. If we want to overcome the resistance, we have to have a zeal to seek in knowledge, for seeking knowledge. That's how wisdom is obtained. Right. And it's not to say like you actually get wisdom. You reach a certain point in life where you get wisdom is an ongoing process, is a journey, is a lifetime journey, is an investment that we have to consistently make on a day to day basis. And I was zeal for seeking knowledge. Right. Because if we look right, the first verses that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad. Right. It was the first five verses from the 96th chapter of the Quran. But I want to make a connection with the word hikmah, right? Right? Half, kaf, mean. I want to make a connection with this word, right? Hakama, right? That's how you read this. Hakama, half, kaf, mean. I want to make a connection with this word. And the first word. That Allah revealed to Prophet Muhammad from the Holy Quran in the Arabic language. Iqra. Read. Right? Read. Before anything, the first word that was ever revealed to Prophet Muhammad was read. Iqra. That was a command. Right? That was a command. And this is so important because reading has a connection to wisdom reading has a connection to knowledge you have to seek knowledge because without knowledge you can't make good judgments and without 
and without the mental capacity to make good judgments, it's impossible for you to overcome the resistance. So let me know, right, if this is something that y'all like and y'all interested, leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section below. And like I said, if y'all serious, right, I'll make the investment. I'll take it upon myself and I will make it, I will invest in the board, right, if y'all like stuff like this, right? Jerome Salau Products, LLC, How to Overcome the Resistance, Part 15.